Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are watching this, this is the first video you've ever watched, or maybe you watched a couple of my videos. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure and subscribe. This channel is for coaches that are within sports that want to grow their business. And hit that subscribe button if you want more videos like this so you can stay up to date. I have been publishing videos for almost six years now. All right, have over 500 videos on this channel. Today's video will really, really help you if you're struggling to close clients and maybe you need a boost to uh, have more clarity with your sales calls. And what I wanna do here uh, is very simple. The last like five or six videos that I've posted, I've been doing it this way where I show a spreadsheet and ideally if you have a pen and a piece of paper, this will really help you going into your next call that you have with a prospect and ideally you turn them into a client. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the three C's, right? And this is something that has really helped me grow my business. It's helped me uh, close way more sales. And I wanna share this with you. And really, this, this is only gonna work if you implement it. If you don't, then you, know, you shouldn't waste your time watching this video. So the first one, top left, which is confidence on the call. And I put equals high level. So what I mean by that is when you step onto the call, you are very confident in what you're selling. And there's two types of salespeople. There's, there's the guy who is really confident when he steps on the call. He knows that he has the solution to the prospect's pain point, right? You either have that confidence or you don't. When I started my business, I hated selling. I would stutter all the time. I would clear my throat all the time when I talked about price. I would avoid talking about price because I thought sales was this weird, scummy type of thing. And I had very low confidence. So at the beginning of my business, I sold very little units <laughs> of my program because there was very low confidence. Now, when you have high confidence, that can get you through a sales call and that can close a prospect that could have called 10 other people that day that was, you know, they're looking for the same service that you have. And because they felt your energy on that call, because they know that you know what you're talking about and they trust you on that call, that's where you build that trust is through confidence, right? If you got on a sales call with me and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? How's your week going? And I'm like super quiet. When I talk about what I'm offering, I'm like, yeah, this is what we have. Um, and I sound like I don't want to be on the call. Then you don't want to be a customer, <laughs> right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Your confidence has to get better. If you want to close more clients, there's only one way to work on that and practice that. It's by doing more calls, right? Put yourself in sales situations. Do more calls. You get more and more confidence. I have done thousands of of sales calls already in my career. And I have a set goal every week of how many sales calls that I wanna have, right? And every week I can systematically get better and better and better at my sales calls because my confidence gets better as I get more reps, all right? And that's where I think this starts. If you have a high level of confidence, you close more clients than someone who has the exact same product, the exact same offer that you have. And parents and clients, they buy confidence. And think about it too. If you're training kids, kids are only gonna come back and work with you if you're a really confident coach. That's why a lot of coaches fizzle out in this game. It's because they're not really confident in their coaching ability, right? So you have to be confident in your business. You have to have, have a lot of confidence in your coaching ability, right? So that's the first one. Second one is certainty of your offer equals high level. And this is what I mean. If I come over to where you live at two o'clock in the morning and I knock on your door and you're like dead asleep. You should be able to have so much certainty in your offer if I put you on the spot and I was like, what do you offer? What's the commitment? What's the investment? What's the transformation that you're going to be giving me as, as the, the client? Like, If you don't have those things on absolute lockdown, you don't close as many clients as you should. And again, that comes back to confidence, but you need to have certainty with your offer. 
What is it? What is the problem that you solve? If we don't drill down on that, you lose out on potential clients, right? If you drill down on that like a hawk, <laughs> right? And you laser in and you focus on that, it's way easier to sell what you do because you are so clear on what you offer and what you offer is only going to be for a certain type of client. And then ideally that client or that prospect is only going to be showing up to the call if they know you can address the problem. So you have to be certain with what you offer. If you're talking over a call and you, you start talking about uh, you know, what you offer and you go 500 different directions, that's not certain. It's not clear. You need to have certainty. That needs to be at a high level. The coaches that I've worked with that are just absolutely dominating with their business right now, these t first two things they have on absolute lockdown. I could knock on their door at two o'clock in the morning. They would come out in their pajamas and they would be able to recite <laughs> what their offer is, right? Because they have that, they've, they have repped that out like crazy over the past couple of years. And because of that, they have a lot of confidence, all right? Lastly, this is the thing I have changed a lot in my own approach with sales. And the easiest way I can explain this, all right, so I put creating incentivized payment options. Now, what this means is when you get to the end of the call, when you present what you're offering, you can give a payment option that is incentivized to the person who's buying it right now. And I'll try to give you a very simple example, right? Let's say you sell something that is normally $300 per month and it's a 12 month agreement. And you feel, I don't wanna say you feel hesitation from the person you're talking to, but you feel like they, they are interested, but maybe they're not ready to act right now. And you can sense that. And you should be able to sense those sort of things over a call if you're asking the right questions, if you're framing the call, right? And when you get to the end of the call, you can say, you know what, Mr. Jones, uh, here's what we're gonna do. If you decide over the next seven days to join our program, I can give you a $50 per month discount. So instead of paying $300 per month, it's 250 per month. That offer is good over the next seven days. Does that make sense? Or is that fair? Now what you're doing is you are getting this person to commit to your program at a discount that is incentivized over the next seven days. And if they don't do that over the next seven days, they don't get it. So if they don't do that, they're gonna pay the full amount. So what you can do is you can go right now, you could go raise your price for any new prospect, right? And then give them incentivized discount that they take action on quickly that's only good for seven days or you could do 48 hours or 24 hours the thing is is like i don't like to use that unless i know someone is i don't want to say on the fence but i know someone might hesitate or they, they might they might feel like they need a long time to make a decision and the reality is what you're selling people don't need a long time to make a decision right they, need, they just need clarity on, on what you're offering. And if it's a good fit, they're going to do it. But they will tend to take faster action if you give them an incentivized payment plan, if that works for your business. For my business, it works. Because I have clients that come into a group training program. Every client I add, I am not working more hours. Right? And that is something you just have to look at the numbers in your business and see if that works. And you could do that over a monthly plan or an annual plan, right? But these three C's here, confidence, certainty, and creating incentivized payment plans. In my opinion, if you have those on lockdown, you can close way more clients. So if you have that on lockdown, then what you need is you just need to get more calls, right? And Here's the reality. There's so many different ways to get sales calls. You can do organic marketing. You can do Facebook marketing. You can uh, get a bunch of referrals. You can literally go to Facebook groups and start plucking away contacts. Uh, you can go into Instagram and send 100 cold messages a day to people in your area. Like The calls are out there depending on if you want them, right? And... I would say those calls are no good unless you have these three C's or unless you learn these three C's. Now, 
If you're watching this and you know you wanna charge a premium for your program, what I'm doing now is I've developed a brand new program that I just launched with coaches that want one-on-one -on -one help with closing clients. And I'm talking about closing clients that invest anywhere between like $3,000 a year to like $10,000 per year, depending on the service that you have. Now, if you want my one-on-one -on -one help, it's very, very simple. Just go to my website, all right? I'm gonna type it in here. It's www.buildmysportsbiz.com, right? You go there and all you have to do is literally go to that website and go down to where it says consulting options. And from there, right, you can apply for one of my programs. I have a one-on-one -on -one option and I have a group coaching option. Both options help coaches with sales. The one-on-one -on -one is just you get just a lot more of my one-on-one -on -one time, all right? Go check out my website, and uh, from there, I'll set up a call with you and see how I can help. But these three things, when they're on lockdown, you can not only charge more for what you do, you attract the better type of clients that are more committed, right? And you have a more of a predictable business because your business is now going to be based on how many calls are you taking per week, right? Because if you track things the way that I do, like it's just a matter of having sales calls every week because you're really confident, you're certain with your offer, and if you have good payment options um, and those are clear, then clients can join right away. That's it. Hope this helps. And uh, reach out to me after you get to my website. See you later.